it was only a matter of time before a significant government figure actually came out and felt they had no choice but to take such a step. I can certainly understand exactly where she was coming from. Governments, I am afraid, are finding themselves out of step with public opinion. And the British government, I'm afraid, in this instance, is no different. It is sticking to the same old line of uh, affording Israel extra room, which no other state, I'm afraid, on this globe would be provided with. So how widespread would you say that your concerns, those of Saeed Avasi, are within the Conservative Party? I think there is a considerable amount of disquiet, not just amongst the Conservative Party, but certainly within the Conservative Party. Uh, I think there is a growing awareness amongst many people that our government's position and many of the governments, and I speak as an MEP now from right across the European Union, are actually out of step with what people are seeing on their screens today. Much more needs to be done to ensure that Israel is held to restraint. In her resignation letter, Saeed Avasi says that um, the fallout of the current conflict and the potential for the crisis in Gaza and our response to it, she says it could become a basis for radicalization with consequences for us for years to come. I don't think this is any secret. Uh, you know, these actions, because they are indiscriminate, because they are not targeted, are actually feeding the mechanism that will allow for those very same extremists to actually gain strength. Now, the Chancellor, George Osborne, has said this morning that Baroness Farsi's decision to resign over Gaza is, quote, disappointing and, frankly, unnecessary. I think she has tried her level best within government uh, to try and raise her voice, but there is quite clearly a, a directional shift in government today uh, that is going only in one direction, and I'm afraid uh, if this is to go beyond foreign policy alone, into other areas, then it may well be straying in, in a way that goes against the grain of what the majority of British people will want to see. When one looks at wider consideration, uh, for instance, the basis upon which we are going to deal with our renegotiations in Europe with the European Union, uh, once again there, there was always a need to ensure that um, the sorts of uh, basic underpinning arguments that people like Dominic Greaves were putting forward, Ken Clark were putting forward, that we don't completely dismantle those because that will take away the very basis of any negotiation. But there is a very real danger today that we are beginning to move in that very direction.